What's up, everybody? My name is Dana Harris with Young Gurus Math Tutoring, and I'm back again to drop some more math jewels. In this video, I'm going to show you an extension of the previous division of polynomials or long division of polynomials, and I'm going to show you a quick way uh, to divide some of those. So let's get right into the examples. Example one. Now, in these examples, this only works, this method only works when you have a divisor with a leading coefficient of one and I'm going to show you what I mean by that okay so notice my divisor right here has a leading coefficient of one this only works synthetic division only works if that leading coefficient is one okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually draw a table that looks like this. I'm going to take this term right here, 4, and put it there. And I'm going to show you a trick in the third example. Now I'm going to take the coefficient of each term. So I'm going to start from the highest one. The coefficient of n squared is 1. Coefficient of n is negative 5. And then the constant is 4. I get this. I always bring down that first number right here, 1. I multiply this 1 times the number on the outside. 1 times 4 is 4, and then I add these. Negative 5 plus 4 is negative 1. I multiply the 4 by negative 1. That gives me negative 4. I add these. I have 0. Now, in order to write out my quotient, I'm going to start with one exponent lower than the highest one that we started with. So this is going to become n and there's nothing with that so my quotient actually is n minus 1 okay this last number would be a remainder okay so you write your um, terms in descending order but we're going to show you another example okay so once again I, ha I take the coefficient of each term uh, including the constant I put those down here remember if there's one that's missing you have to put the zero in place when it's a minus over here for my divisor, I just take that number, okay? I'll show you what happens if it's a plus, okay? And I probably need some spray on here because that's not going to clear. Look at that. Look at that. All right. Let's get this all nice and pretty. All right, um, let's do another example. So example two. Tree x squared minus 10x. Plus tree. And then uh, divided by x. Minus tree all right i'm going to switch colors here because this marker looks like it's fading a little bit so bear with me please so i'm gonna still rewrite this i write this little thing like here i put the three on the outside i'm going to take the coefficient so i start with three uh i start with negative 10 next and then i have three so this is the coefficient of x squared this is the coefficient of x this is the constant i bring down that first number all right that's going to be 3. 3 times 3 is 9. I put it over here. Add these, I have negative 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. And these give me 0. Once again, I'm going to take, starting with 1 less than degree, so x, and then that would just be 1. So our quotient is 3x or 3x minus 1. Remember, you can always go back and multiply this times the divisor and I should get that original dividend. The last example that I want to show you is one that you have to actually fill in. Um, actually, I don't have one where you fill in a missing term. I had one, but the numbers were like ugly. So I need you all to remember if you're working with one and there's a term missing, make sure you put in a zero for that missing term because they have to be in descending order. And if you 
still are wondering what I'm talking about, go watch my video on long division of polynomials. All right. So here I have. All right. Um, 2z to the third power. I'm going to use x. So 2x to the third power minus x minus x squared plus 1. All right. And I'm dividing that by x plus 1. All right. Same thing. Let's see, we're going to do, now notice, since this is plus 1, the formula tells us it's in the form of x minus, they use k for that very, that constant. So, since this is a plus, I actually, this is the same thing as saying x minus negative 1. So, I need to put negative 1 here because the formula or the rule is based off of subtraction. Now, I'm going to put the coefficient of x cubed coefficient of x squared, the coefficient of x, and then that constant. Bring down the 2. Remember, negative 1 times 2 is going to be negative 2. Add these, I get negative 3. Multiply negative 1 times negative 3, I get positive 3. Add these, I get 2. Multiply again, negative 2. I add these, I get negative 1. So now, when I do these, I have to actually, once again, write them, the coefficient. So here the degree is 3, so this needs to be to the second power, okay? I hope you all can see that. This needs to be x, and then this is 2. So our quotient is actually 2x squared minus 3x plus 2. We also have a remainder here, okay? So we have a remainder here. I do not like that red marker. But it's all good. And I'm going to say plus negative 1 over x plus 1. So notice I have to write that remainder as a fraction. So everything else is still the same. But then I take this last number. It's a remainder. So I put negative 1 over my original divisor. Okay. Take some time. Remember this only works when you have a leading coefficient of 1 for your divisor. That's the only time synthetic division will work. And also one of the things you got to remember is if there is a term in the dividend that is missing a coefficient. So for example, if we took out x here, I would have to put 0 for the coefficient of x. Okay? It could be this one. If I was missing x squared, it has to be whatever that highest degree is, I have to have. If the highest exponent is the fifth power, I have to have x to the fifth, x to the fourth, x to the third, x to the second, x to the first power. Always. Okay? Remember, thank you so much for watching my videos. I appreciate each and every one of you for sharing, subscribing, share with a friend, share with the uh, fellow parent, whoever. Just share it. All right? And thank you so much, Young Guru's Math Tutoring. I hope y'all can see this, but I got the solution to your math problems. That was crazy. I don't know why I do it, did it. I just wanted to show y'all the back of my shirt like y'all ain't seen it before or something, but I'm gone, man.